Esa es sol, que esa es sol. On a voir un asal, y en el dimanche. Si tu me lo has texto, es un sol. Esa cuas no pila caminar, o cabel chon. Ay, yo, on a voir un asal. Hey peeps, uh, we're back again. We've got two lovely guests here. We've got Ukanya right here on my right, and we've got Maite. Um, so ladies are gonna have an opinion in our conversations as well, um, so that you guys don't just get like word from the gins only. So we're willing to have a conversation and hear this out, ladies. Um, but yeah, since we were already in a conversation, ladies, here is what I want to bring up. We're going to talk about implemented, what? implemented um, social contracts, basically. Um, for example, like if I would ask you out on a date, and I'll, I'll, I'm willing to ball out on anything you want, basically. And then after that, I'm expecting to take you home and possibly get some sex. So <laughs> that's, that's basically what the, the, the contract is, right? So now, exactly. It's a, it's, it's, it's a yeah, business. but I want to ask you. Yeah, it's but I want to ask you. You're not obligated to fulfill your side of the agreement. But it's way. it's not an agreement. But, but it's just it's just there. It's, like an unsaid it's a thing. It's an unsaid it's rule. An unsaid it is there. It's Why something that is there. But I mean, if you if you use that same logic, you can use that across the board. If like as kids or as adults or just in any social situation, there's not necessarily any rules to friendship, like oh, that you can go to jail. Or there's no certain rules to how to do certain things. It's always about the like an Im the implied, implied yeah. kind of rules, mm -hmm. and that's how society is basically built upon. True. So I mean, in any situation, there are certain kind of pressures, mm -hmm. not necessarily just from outside, but from yourself in like inside pressure that you get from, oh, is he gonna like me if mm -hmm. I don't go home with him, or if um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or guilt of the sense that I've got this all this right. stuff. Do I have to pay for it? You know, like yeah. that thing of like, I got, oh, I got the thing, and I was like, oh, don't pile for it, don't the bag, I'm going home with some friends. But you see, you this know? this is why we so need female opinion. That is, that there's all those certain things that needs that a person needs to kind of think about when when you speak about females, because we're not as straightforward as you guys. Like our thinking is not as linear. Yeah, we're, uh -huh. we're, we're pretty much. We simple. think there are times when you think, okay, uh, so man said this. Does that mean that I gotta do that or something like that? Or do I wear the matching underwear? Because you gotta be ready for every single situation that could possibly happen because you never know at the end of the night if you're gonna feel frisky or you're just gonna be like, what he do? he's a meme, he's not gonna get it, thanks for the meal though. Like, this is what I'm asking now. This, I feel like sometimes females know when they wanna sleep with someone or when they're gonna sleep with someone without even, you see, for example, we assume and we hope for the best. <laughs> I feel like you guys know if like... And make it comfortable. I would, exactly. Like, I would, <laughs> and this is my theory. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like I could be wrong. But I genuinely feel like females know who they want to fuck. And I they will like definitely do it. We are more like... Know um, you know before you go. Like how far you think you could possibly go with a certain guy. Mm -hmm. But at the same Jesus. time, for example, going on a date, you don't always necessarily think sex. Sometimes you actually want to get to know the person, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. As a guy too, sometimes it happens. So sometimes <laughs> it happens. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Why is that his man? Honestly, I said, sorry, sorry for that, but like you made a really good okay, point. Go away, that's, so that's but point. wait, I want to ask now, are you telling me for guys, you don't go on a date thinking, yo, I really want to get to know this person, like sex is not on the table? Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Is, has there ever been a time when you've been, when you've generally thought that sex yes. is never, well, not never, not say never, that's a bit of a stretch, but right. I'm saying that, actually, you know what, I'm not going to think with the little head. Can I can I be honest? Can I be honest? That happens. And not confuse my. I think for me for me personally, I'll, I'll talk for me personally. I always have a mentality of, oh, can I please get laid tonight? But 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 get, get, listen to me, listen to me. But when you get on that date, right? Sometimes 
switch you, you, you switch and then the whole sex situation kind of goes out of the window yeah. and you're just genuinely enjoying the person's yeah, company. And I'm not saying this is all the time because I'll be fucking lying to you, yeah. but I'm it, saying it, there is times when these things it. actually happen. Like you think about nothing but this person and the conversation you guys are having mm -hmm. and how great this vibe is and how much you're willing to actually see her again. So in those moments, it's all like, okay, she's actually more than just the physical. Exactly. Thing. Exactly. Maybe, okay, let me just get to know what that was. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then that's then when you start planning for tomorrow. But, so not the first time. So you're saying the first time is not it. You're still thinking. Like you still think. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me make a move. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Let me just go test the watches. Like, like, just, see what happens. Can I at least get a kiss? Yeah, like, yeah, just, 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 yeah, 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 when, when you, when trans, you, let's say for instance, right, you're at that point where you're saying, ah, I'm going to try and make a move and see, I like her, I think she's dope, yeah. like everything, but I'm going to try. What happens then in your mind when you try and then you achieve? Does the idea now change and be like, okay, Good. nah, she, she just gave it? Depends. It depends. Or depends. Is it gonna be, or is that like... Not, does that not matter then? It depends. It let, me, let me say it like this. For, that's a good point. For, for yeah, me, it, good it basically point. depends on who the person is. Like, the whole thought for me, the, like for the whole sex thing to be out of my mind during the date, that must mean I must really get along with this person. And if I feel like that, that's someone I want to see again. Me trying to get at least some kissing action or whatever, <laughs> it's just a gesture of like, I want some physical attraction from you as well. You get what I mean? But if you say no, that's fine. But if you agree to see me again tomorrow after that, cool. But if you were the girl who I was just in a conversation with, I'm only thinking about sex. If, for example, after the date, you don't give me nothing or whatever, we'll say, ah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll call you, come when you're home, whatever. And you know, that, that's never gonna happen. You're not yeah, gonna you never wanna see me again. Females do this as well. Let's, let's be honest. Like not not do not do the not do not do the whole at the end of the date sex thing, but do the whole. You, we vibe on the phone once you go on a date, and things is just like the whole opposite. Like you guys are not vibing anymore or whatever. And then a guy's like, okay, I'll call you. Please come when you get home. Whatever. You be like, ah, cool, boo. Like, okay, cool. Give a person a hug. Meanwhile, you know you don't want to talk to this guy again. Say, I won't lie. Say, I'm not gonna say that I done that. I'm just first, saying. I That's fine. It's your right. That's it's your right. right. So you've never ghosted. <laughs> so you've never ghosted a guy. Um. Mizzles. I, <laughs> oh, oh, I would rather say there have been times where I have ghosted <laughs> because I tried to put the point across and I and I was upfront and I was like, you know what? Honestly, like I, I try to be as polite as possible because for me, I would be like in the beginning, I'd be like, hey, Chom, I don't know if you're let's say, but yes, maybe, yes. maybe I need to give him another chance. And then you feel like, okay, maybe, but what? He's, he's not a working nice guy. Out. Like, you don't want to hurt, you want to hurt the person's feelings. No, no, no. So it's like a point of, okay, you try to make those subtle hints without being up, like abruptly in his face and be like oh honey I mean, no it's a no from me the judges aren't feeling the vibes yeah like, you the judges you imagine you can't come at a dude yeah, like that right. because then it's gonna be because then we're living in a society now where where the, the way i reject a guy is an like i don't know what his response is going to be to that Mm. So I always need to be yeah. on my toes yeah, at yeah. all times as a female to be like, yeah, that's, that's if that's okay, we can't this fight dude, that. if I reject this dude right. in the worst right. way, I don't know, maybe he could be like, oh, please, maybe you'll try and brush my leg. It could go from just brushing the leg and being like, ah, oh, but girl, you know, man, mm. we're <laughs> together to be like, <laughs> you know, yeah. like it could I be, it's, it's, yeah. it's the, yeah, but the, 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 yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying, like, it's such a spectrum, yeah, so you is. never know. Exactly. You you just pray that, safe you, just pray that you, you get home safely and be yeah. like, that was nice. I got in the house. <laughs> that you actually is I mean? so sad. Oh. But you said because the thing is, I'm sorry. No. The thing is, like, um, guys are very persistent. Mm -hmm. So there's a thin line between being cute and with your like persistence and going after me versus 
okay, now I need to like ghost you because you're too persistent. Like, I don't mm. know what your actions are going to be afterwards. What is being too persistent? <laughs> no, can I just ask? Because I want to understand. You said it yourself, right? Niggas are just so linear sometimes. Mm. They're simple. The way that, their mind works is simple. Kind of so mm. even if even with your hints and stuff that you know you don't like me, you're not into me, I might be just she's just playing hard to get. That's what I'm getting to. That's what I'm saying. That's why I asked you now. How do you know? Exactly. But how do you know? How do, how do we know it's over? Like like going the extra mile, oh, which you shouldn't you go. Know. Don't act like you don't. No, it's like I promise you, I just. That you feel in your but also, no, but she said, no, she said, she said the difference between being cute and also being just creepy vibes. Basically, what is the spectrum? When do you know that you've crossed the cute spectrum? I don't want to use, I don't want to say cute, but like, think about it. Like, okay, I want to be cute, man. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. But like. Like there's a line. Like, there's a line. Right, it is. It's just there. Like, it's just like, like, sorry, guys. But, like, honestly, like, when do you know? Is it me sending you three texts and you're not responding? Is it me trying to oh call you and much. you're not responding? There is no, yes, it's not black and white. It's gray because every girl is different. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? True. What works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me. So, it's you need to use your mind and your intuition. This individual, you need to look at the individual. What kind of person are you? You can see when someone is uncomfortable. You can see when someone isn't uncomfortable. So look, study the individual. Don't be too much in their space. You get what I'm saying? Because some girls will straight up, you will know if they like you. And then other girls, they're shy, you know? But you need to actually, like, when you say you like someone, pay attention to them. Because if you pay attention, you can't get it wrong. You get what I'm saying? There's a thing that we do as guys. Um, when you, you sort of like over the years, your experience with women is it sort of like yeah, you develop this thing, these moves that you know. Yeah. You these Are your go-to ones? Only your go-to moves. Go-to moves. For sure, I'm this. For sure, I'm getting in there. You know. Yeah. So sometimes, like you said, like you need to study the individual and. And then so I just become completely oblivious. <laughs> like, I'm like, I did the same thing I did with this with other chick. And it worked 100%. I mean, three out of, three out of three out five. five chicks, it works. But this chick, it doesn't. Like, what's going on? What's wrong? What am I doing wrong here? It's like, for example, like, like I'll make it an actual example. Like, I'm very, I'm very bubbly kind of person. Like, I love good conversation. I love laughing. I love people, like, people smiling, whatever. And that, if I could say, game that would be my game like yeah. funny guy kind of thing yeah that's that's your that's i can't believe i actually yeah. said that out loud but yeah honestly funny <laughs> fun. Funny, fun. i'm the cool brooding type so this is ridiculous honestly but so you are we now just like telling each other we're, we're giving out yeah, guys you got us, you got, they must know they must know they must know it is what it is like they must know <laughs> but like honestly though like yeah. i am that person so if i would go on a date with my eater for example maybe she is like that Cool, funny character, whatever, and then we're sharing jokes, we're laughing, it's a good time. Kanye, you're a serious person, and I'm out here trying to be making jokes, and you ask me, ah, oh, bro, you Trevor Noah or something. You get what I mean? <laughs> and it's, it changed the whole dynamic, so I'm just like, fuck, it worked with her. Like, how does it not work with you? I feel, like, I feel that, you, you know, yeah, like, true. personally, I feel like, man, as much as I'm a, a kid of this generation, you know, I still was. I still come from that old school vibe of like um, being direct about stuff. And I think that's something that we've really, really lost in this game yeah. of mm -hmm. trying to hide our feelings mm -hmm. yes. and always trying to feel like we're on top of shit because we always so, we all so jaded by our previous experiences and we use that and we hold on to that like this crutch. So, because we're so adamant that I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. So you try so, in you trying so hard not to make the same mistake again, you end up be making the same mistake again. Exactly. So let's just be direct. Let's stop being around the bush. If you, at the end of the day, do you feel you want to have another date? Just say, I would love to take you out again. Or do you want to go out with me again? Let's just stop beating around the bush and doing that. But, I think but, it's going to help so much, don't true, you think? True. But can you, can you, I, I, I'm sorry, you're yeah, going to speak just now. Like the whole situation of like being direct, it, it has its ways of working about it, man. I think about this. If, if, you were, if I asked you on a date, 
right? And you tell me straight up over the phone. Like, oh, the guys, please answer this. How, like, how much percentage of guys would agree to go with you on a date if they would call you and be like, and you tell them straight up that, dude, just know I'm not going to have sex with you. Straight up, before the date, wait, 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 you wait, tell wait, them. Wait, repeat the question? The question okay. like this, being straight up, mm. right? Like, like you asking me out on a date? I'm asking you out on a date, oh. right? And you tell me, listen, whatever's going to happen, I'm not sleeping with you at all. How many of you guys, be honest, be honest, how many of you guys <laughs> would generally go I ahead with that date? About it, but not, I wouldn't go out with that. See, right. but then if I really like you, that's where I'll be like, okay. Cool. But that's why I'm saying the whole straight up thingy doesn't really always I work. Think, okay, no, no, it goes, okay, go ahead. Sorry, it goes back to what you were talking about, social constructs, because you need to be direct. Society tells you that if you're too direct, then you come across as maybe too easy or to i don't know true actually you're, you're too needy face, you, know, you know why is she so needy or why is he so are you too mean you know you mm. need to be direct because how else are you going to know and you know, also with your question i beg to <laughs> differ know, because which one in uh, how many guys will like still go on a date knowing they're not getting sex personally from my experience a lot of the guys who've taken me out on dates Knew they weren't gonna get sick. Yeah, oh god. So <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> get asked. Let me tell you this. Somewhere <laughs> along along the lights, he's hoping that you get weak. No, obviously. That is a fact. I'm telling you right now. He's he ah, he might change your exactly. mind. Exactly. He so might change your. Yeah. No, I'm not taking that risk. Basically, <laughs> of going and knowing that I won't change your mind. Can, can I? Can Bruh, let's let's be honest. I, 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 like, let's not lie. This is what as guys we do. Like, as, sure. mm. as a female, yeah. if I come up straight and I'm G about it and I'm like, look, honey, no, it's a it's a no for me. No, no, like, ha ha, honey, business. <laughs> yeah. And okay, fair then, enough. And you like, yeah, thank thank goodness, good riddance. Yeah, Miss Zeus. But okay, I I hear what you're saying. <laughs> You in this? Hey, like, let's be real. Like now, I'm not setting myself up. Yeah. I'm not setting myself up to 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 fail because you being straight up and being like, intentions yes, for, for your ego for that minute. But in the long run, wouldn't you rather, when you look back, be like, okay, this is a waste my time. I could have moved on no. to this, find someone who's this more aligned actually, with what ooh, I want. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I think people are just too like stuck in that little two minutes, like. Pass up the two minutes. <laughs> two minute piece of time where you're gonna feel a little bit hurt, whereas in the long run you're gonna be like, oh, thank God, I didn't have to waste my time. You but know what I mean? I think that's but actually. My question okay. is, why does it even have to be about sex? But how but it's not, but it just is. And sex I have are literally a two. Society has made it to be that you know, if you go on a date, there are chances you'll get late. But why in the first place? Like me getting to know you better. What does it have to? Obviously, sex is a part of you know a relationship and stuff, but. Don't you think maybe the rushing into sex is also the reason why we're also scared to get our hearts so broken and so nah. exactly? Like, I think, but I agree with what you said. I agree with I agree with the statement you said. This is why you go with Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, go with bro. But you know what, Kanye? Kanye, I actually I actually agree with the statement you said, eh? Because you said something about if the person is like, nah, after you tell them they're not gonna get laid, you're saving yourself from a heartbreak. There's also a situation of, you look at it in the guy's perspective. Okay, this is going to sound fucked up, but this is what how guys generally think. So, let's say you have had sex with him, with him, and with him. Why do you? I like this one. Man, come on, we, we, I'm, like, I just, you brought up this point. You, you, you brought up this point. We've got, we've got, okay. So you, and then now you're single, right? And I, like, I hear good reviews about what things they've done. I mean, these guys, they talk about everything. And they talk about how great they had sex with you, whatever, whatever. And somehow, I'm like, okay, maybe I must try to have sex with this girl. Myself. Right? Right? I so I come to with the intention of purely just sexual desires. But then, along the lines, just when we're starting to vibe, whatever, you don't get me laid. Right? What you do is you just start telling me that you like me. You, you have feelings for me. Right? And you think, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy to be stable with, right? Now, there is just this thing of guys called, what, 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 what,
So that's why I'm like, the, the, straight, the straight phone call could also help because it will also save me from like having to spend time with you in terms of making you get emotionally attached. Does that make sense? Because at the end of the day, if I somehow talk to you long enough, you will obviously catch feelings. And then once you do get me laid, the issue is I'm gonna wanna backtrack and then you're gonna get hurt. So it kind of saves both of us.